If you're a Windows user watching this video, there's about a 40% chance that you're still using Windows 10. What's really interesting is in Europe, it's actually closer to 50% and Windows 10 has just been overtaken by Windows 11 this month in terms of market share. So that begs the question, what do I do now? It's out of support, it's after October 14th and the world's ending, right? In this video, we're going to go over the three best ways, in my opinion, to keep Windows 10 if that's what you want to do. If you're anti Windows 11 like I am, you don't have to upgrade. You can keep Windows 10 safely and securely for the next few years. So this is our test machine today. This is a virtual machine. It is on Windows 10 Pro. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable extended security updates. Now, I'm not exactly sure why this says version 2009. And if we go to Winver here, this says 22H2, so I'm just going to go with this one and not worry about it. So this method is piracy. I do not condone using this method to bypass paying for extended security updates. For the first year, you can actually get extended security updates for free if you are willing to put a Microsoft account on your machine. However, the problem with that is that Microsoft has said people who do this and then have their Microsoft accounts removed may lose access to ESU. Okay, so we're going to try this on our test machine, our VM. So I haven't done this before, so we're going to be learning together. We're just going to open up PowerShell and run that bad boy as an administrator. And we'll just paste this little command in here. And we can see that it's downloading. Okay, so it even has been updated, I believe, to say tip. To activate ESU updates after Win 10 end of life, use the TS Forge option. So we're going to do that. Let's go into here. And we're going to go activate ESU. And now we wait. Okay, so we are apparently all good to go and there is a command we can use to check this So let's exit out of here So now if we go to Windows Update We can see that it says you're not up to date. You're missing this This must be an old version of Windows because now it does not it doesn't have anything about Windows 11 on here Apart from this little bit, but we should be good to go with ESU updates and the command to check will paste that bad boy in there and oh okay here we go so okay so here's our output and we can see that we have year one year two year three and year six is years four to six but i don't believe there's actually going to be four five or six years of esu support i think it is just going to be three years that's what microsoft have said so far so you can see that these are licensed status licensed these have been activated and now this computer will continue to get security updates for three years. So the other option, if you want a totally clean install experience, but still to keep Windows 10, is to use Windows 10 IoT LTSC. Now, you will probably have to use piracy methods to activate this, or you can just roll with the activate Windows watermark, but you're going to have to reinstall Windows completely cleanly. There are some guides online, and I will put a video in the description of somebody trying to do this, but I wouldn't recommend it. You can convert Windows to this IoT version, but I would always recommend doing a clean install so you get the full experience anyway. And if you want even less bloatware on that, here's a top tip, install it as the world region instead of your actual country. And the third option is doing nothing. You can just do nothing. You can just keep using Windows 10. It's not going to break. It's not going to fall apart. But here are some considerations if you do just want to keep using Windows 10 like nothing's happened. You should not be doing banking on your Windows machine. I would give you about a month until security vulnerabilities start coming out for Windows 10 that aren't going to be patched. So within this next month or so, definitely by the end of the year, you want to have migrated all of your banking, your insurance, all of your any crypto, nothing like that should be left on your Windows 10 machine if you are not enrolled in ESU or using the IoT version that will actually get the updates until 2032. Uh, you can keep gaming on it, you can play your games, you can watch YouTube, you can go on Discord I guess, but be very careful of what you download, what you click on on these versions of Windows, and keep your financial information safe, don't store passwords on them, do not do anything that is going to be critical to you on a machine that is not getting security updates. But that's it, that's the video. No clickbait, 
um, no messing around too much. I just wanted to get this video out there to tell you guys about my opinion because, you know, everybody's doing a video on the end of Windows 10. I work in IT. I am managing migrations to Windows 11 uh, and have been for the past six months or so. So I'm seeing pretty much the outcomes of every single option. We have a few machines that aren't capable of running Windows 11 that do need updates. So they've either had ESUs that we have paid for because it's corporate IT or they've been put onto the IoT enterprise version, which we get keys for through volume licensing, paying again, Microsoft, we're paying for it. Um, and there's machines that we've just done nothing because all they do is run a sign or something like that because they're just offline they're essentially just being used as an appliance. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. I hope it was very informative. And most of all, I hope to see you again next time.